Curse you... my body. Welcome back. Curse it. Fuck my <laughs> falling apart <laughs> fucking body. Fuck. So, I was trying to do an intro set, and you're complaining about being an old man. <laughs> oh, I've left my walking stick inside. Uh, oh, my fire... teeth have all fallen out. I know, but. Oh, I've got, I've got, I like ate a this... toffee this morning, and I couldn't swallow and I it. I ear, and my mouth is all fucked up, and ah. Uh... God damn. So, sorry, Sips was complaining before we started that he's his body's falling apart, he's got yeah. an earache. Uh, uh, just try wearing one earphone for a while. That fixed it for me when I had a bit of uh, an ear thing. Oh, it's because I wear headphones like 12 hours a day. That was the problem. Oh, I had. Yeah, it, wasn't maybe. Like, it wasn't like airing out my ear properly. Oh, uh, yeah, don't maybe. stick anything in there, all right? Don't fucking stick anything in there. No, no. Unless I... it's a paracetamol or whatever, and you have to get that in there. I don't know. I don't, well, I don't stick anything in my ears, but like the other day I cleaned out my shed and it was full of like snails and spiders and stuff like that. So when it started hurting, because I went to the doctor, it was it was hurting bad. I thought it was infected and I thought, ah, oh, fuck, you know, like if I got an infection, like that could mean other things or whatever. So I thought, oh, I'll go to the doctor. But leading up to going to the doctor, I was I was worried that like somehow like a spider got in my ear and was like I was going to say classic ear spider. Yeah, classic. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he looked at my ear and it, it was clear. It was all clear and stuff. But I guess spider eggs are pretty small, so like maybe you just like missed. Them. I think right. it's just your body re- responding to you doing any anything like hard work. Uh, it's like put- it's, it's trying to send you a message. Never do that again. And it's it's brought you on a psych- psychosomatic. Uh, ear you some troweling in the background. Are you building a house in the background? I'm not. I can hear, but I can hear a But intriguingly, intriguingly, you know the Russian spy house. Yeah, you got to get your daughter is home from school, man. You got to get her on that. She's like well, doing good spy work. Get her, get her yeah. know, monitoring. The only window that overlooks the Russian spy house is my office, and I don't want her in here. Right. So having some work done in the Russian spy house garden. Which, as we know, oh. is not a Russian spy house, but it, that's yeah. what the racket is today. And in, more intriguingly than that, the builders doing the work are Russian. Oh, Whoa. well. They like, now, to, they like to keep it in the family, you know? They like to, <laughs> do they have tops on? Because it is boiling. They do. They how, do. Long, how long do you think they're going to have tops on for? <laughs> well, you know they, I mean? d- they didn't top off yesterday, and it was much what, hotter. Uh, what, what sort of cut are the uh, the tops that these guys are wearing? Uh, they're just wearing just, T-shirts, but ooh. they've got very, very well quaffed hair. Right. Are they right. like... Is um, it quite oily hair? Yes. Are they yes. like? Uh, are they loose T-shirts, like baggy, or are they like Let me have fitted? a look. Hold on. Can you see like a shape, a good shape underneath them? Do they have tattoos? Yeah. They're, they're big. They're big lads. Right. Um, big, big pythons. Big lads. And the, well, builders are. Yeah. It's just it comes with the territory. But these lads are like bigger than like we. we you know, we've had builders before, and so you get the occasional big. So lad. they're not like wearing. These lads are both big. They're not wearing denim oh, wow. overalls with no shirt on underneath or anything. No, like they're that? not because they're not. They're no not hard hats. They're not doing this work in they're the deep miners. south. They're not miners. They're not. Coal mine. <laughs> no, they're, they're just they're, they're just chatting. Are away. they like r- wiping the sweat off their brow, leading back, and they're going, oh, and like shaking out their hair, and like kind of just f- sit their glistening muscles flex. You've got in a the different sunshine. vision of what's happening Sorry, in what's the back garden. <laughs> Are they using an ice cold diet Pepsi that has like condensation like all over <laughs> yeah, it to like yeah. cool down their forehead in slow motion? Yeah. Are they doing? And any all, of that? all the all the stay at home dads are looking out the windows at them. Is that what you're implying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. patting their bellies <laughs> out the window. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wish once like that. <laughs> Some yeah. of the days, shit. So we're no, we're falling apart. Sips, you got uh, you got um. I did exactly the same thing this week. I got like a, I bit my lip. Okay, and it like. Just like, and it sw- swell up a bit. Now every time I eat anything, I just bite it again. Yeah, and it's just I've got that bigger. as well. I've got, yeah. I've got that on my lip. Fucking so annoying. And like, I, I bit my tongue the other day as well. And now that's Jesus causing me some. And my whole like, where my ear is sore, my whole jaw on that side is fucked. Like I can't even open my mouth fully or anything. Like it sounds like you've got an ear infection there, mate. Yeah, yeah. well. You might have to get some antiseptic antibiotic eardrops or something. Well That's I went what. to the doctor. Like I'm not I the said. doctor, obviously. No, I know, because I actually went to a doctor. I've uh, I've watched a few episodes of Doctor House M D right. and I reckon You think it's lupus? I mean Slumbago. What could or what's the other one? Lyme disease. It could be it's Lyme. Not you could have Lyme. <laughs> have you been near any uh, limes. Rivers Have or you been near any limes? Or supermarket. Yeah, fruit counters. 
lately. Uh, so that's, that's... I, Mr. Mr. Lovis, I, I've looked in your ear. There's a goddamn lion in there. <laughs> you got a whole tree in here. So. How'd you get it in there? Well, I put a seed in my ear and it grew into a lime. <laughs> I traded my, my prized cow for some magical beans. I put it's like an in episode of ear. SpongeBob. There's yeah. a goddamn lime in your ear. <laughs> Oh, man. So, yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. I guess, I, I you know, I'm going to be 40, like, next week. So maybe that's it. Fuck. It's maybe just a reminder. Is, maybe the, this, this father time is just gently reminding me that I'm no, I'm not a young buck anymore. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. <laughs> yeah. You know, my body is betraying me uh, actively almost every day now. It's weird. Your body stores up revenge. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. see these guys in their 60s who still look like bodybuilders. They never betrayed their body, so their body rewards them. Yeah. Those of us who spent 20 years sitting in an office chair at a computer, you know, whether yeah. at home or at work, our body is Your thinking, body never f- one day, never my forgets. Friends, yeah. one day I will have my revenge, and you'll have to make this noise <gasps> when you pick anything up, or this noise <gasps> yeah. when you get up. <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing yeah. that. Yeah. You, you'll grunt when you pick up a full it's, cackle. It's, it's, <gasps> it's that moment when you, you look in the mirror, and you're like, oh... You're really good, and then you let go of that breath, and it just all goes to the belly, and you're like, "Oh, that's good." That's- I've definitely put on weight in lockdown. <laughs> I've, I've just been chilling and snacking, and oh my god, I've, I, I, I'm hoping that after lockdown, I, I, I will lose this. I've weight. definitely put on put on some weight, but I'm, I think it's boredom, right? It's because I'm sat I'm sat around at home, and I'm like, "What do I yeah. do?" And it's either play like play video games or go walk into what's the kitchen for a little bit of exercise and if i'm in the kitchen i'm gonna eat something i don't know it's like automatic i always like either make a toasty or like yeah. i don't know also, some, something. i'm not being funny but but mrs f and the kids being home at lunchtime makes me have like a proper lunch like we've had fish finger sandwiches we've had chicken burgers i'll at least have a sandwich normally i i will just have a, a banana or something like that Jeez. literally yeah, that'll do me i'll have that at about 11 11 30 and that'll do me i might have a snack in the afternoon but then that's it that's me till dinner time uh and that was good but now i'm like i'm having sometimes mrs ethel she'll be like i'm making poached eggs for breakfast and i was like yes please Whereas, so exactly and you, you've already had like around. a croissant and like a fucking you know a banana sandwich and a, some honey on toast already but you're like oh it's breakfast time now yeah second yeah. breakfast is a thing in this house like very much we we like to very Mary you live Pippin's in second breakfast yes we 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 definitely dine as hobbits tonight we dine as hobbits i was watching what was i watched for some reason i can't get this out of my head okay i was watching this show on amazon prime because i finished watching bosch right i've been watching a lot of shit yeah on, that on is amazon. shit Bosch is pretty shit. I watched through it and it was all right. And then I started watching Goliath, right? Which is like kind of like another. It's like Bosch is like a detective show with this grizzled detective trying to, you know, he's solving like a case of like one murder, but it turns out to be part of something much bigger. Okay. Right. right. And then he uncovers this massive conspiracy or, you know, like some super drug thing, all this radioactive, like, you know, isotopes missed or something weird, okay, and, and far too ridiculous. Anyway, Goliath's sort of similar. Goliath is and similar, this... but the, the detective is an actual giant. Well, he, no, he's a lawyer. Oh. He's Billy Bob Thornton um, <laughs> as a lawyer, and he's super fucking weird, and it's just a weird show, but there was this, but there's these sometimes these amazing episodes, and I don't want to spoil any, but there's this one episode where they're on this almond plantation. You know how all these almonds look, right? If you've oh, seen, you've seen them, they just stretch on for forever yeah. um, in the sort of California Valley, and they use like you know so much water. Yeah, that that's it's like, terrible. It's crazy. They have these machines that drive along them and shake the trees, and they shake the tree to like drop all the almonds off. And I've always thought in my head. What would happen if somebody got shake, shaken up by one of those shaky machines, right? <laughs> In my head, like the first time I saw, because I, I was almost like, I, you know, when you see like a wood chipper, right? You know, you, someone's you going to that wood chipper, yeah. right? Or like the also like the mech suit from Ripley, Alien. You know, when she fights the alien with that, um, it's always like I always think of how you could use like these kind of, I don't know. It's just a, it's like, like steamrollers. You know, I've seen someone get flattened by a steamroller on telly. I've, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But I've never seen anyone until now got shaken oh, by I'm an Oh, I'm just watching this shaker. machine. Look at this thing. I know, it's, it's nuts. It's terrifying. And look at the almonds go flying. It's nuts. Anyway, there's this scene in it where a woman is standing by an almond tree and then uh, someone drives a, a shaker 
<laughs> shake a thing up to her, traps her against the tree, and shakes her and the tree <laughs> together. Jesus. And that's, that's amazing. It's so stupid, but I've not been able to get it out of my mind all week for some reason. I just had to tell you about it <laughs> because it was so fucking weird. He's been oh, hanging on to that one. He just like yeah. There's this other episode in the series because it's kind of crap, but one of the episodes is like he basically just wakes up with no memory of where he is in this weird house, and um, it's not really a spoiler, but it sort of turns out that he's. Um, you know they're trying to keep him there because they're not sure what they're going to do with him, right? So these sort of these sort of cartel guys have got him in this house, and they don't know whether they're going to get the order from above to bump him off or not, right? And so it's kind of like this half, like temp- temporary halfway house. So he's got like uh, outside the back door is a guy with a submachine gun, outside the front guy's a guy with a submachine gun. Inside are like three guys and th- three other people who are also in limbo with him. You know they don't know whether they're going to be ordered to be bumped off or not. And so he kind of has to like like kind of go through this sort of because he's like just it's Billy Bob Thornton right he's basically a kind of a skinny looking sketchy guy do you know what I mean like like he, I think Billy Bob Thornton had some problems with anorexia in his in his early life like almost like a, he, he just didn't eat for some reason and he got very thin and I, I think he drunk a lot anyway he's kind of a weird guy and he plays kind of a weird guy and so he's not like a superhero or a guy who can like wield a gun and so he has to kind of come up with this elaborate sort of plan to get out of it but then he does just go full superhero. <laughs> just like the hell. Oh, it's great. He convinces this like woman that he gets stuck in there with to like seduce this guy and then then like stab him in the balls. It's just nuts. Oh, and I just I just I just it was one episode of this this series that I just thought was great. So I don't know. It turns out I am recommending this show to you, Goliath on Amazon Prime. Right. Go for it. Why not? Didn't you just say that it was it wasn't good, and now you're saying that I should watch Sometimes, it? Sometimes, like it's like Star Trek, though. I love Star Trek, but half the episodes are crap. Right. You know. Yeah, um, definitely. But sometimes it's worth watching just for those the good ones when they come along. You know. Yeah. They I mean, stick with you. it's the this is the the central problem with any American TV series. No offense to Americans, and I, I know I've seen on Reddit every time Perry talks about America, he's wrong. Well, no, I'm not wrong because here's an example. You guys make TV shows that have like 117 episodes per series. Half of them are going to be shite at least. Star Trek Next Generation didn't need to be 26 episodes per season because guess what happens? 14 of them is shit. A few of them are okay and then there's like four or five really good ones. Why don't you just make six or eight really good ones? How about that? I I think maybe though it's a case of just shotgun effect of if you make if you make 26 four of them were good if you only make four only one of them were good you know i feel like i feel like sometimes they don't know if it's gonna be no, good no, or not no, until no. it's done no 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 maybe it's because people will watch anything and they know <laughs> that if they want to go to a network <clears throat> and say we got a new tv series for you it's called the next generation star trek the next generation we're going to need x million dollars to make it and we're going to deliver you so so like 27 episodes. You'll be able to fill up half of the fucking schedule, half a year's worth of schedule with this, and think about the reruns. And they're like, yeah, that sounds great. We can stick that on on Thursdays. We've got a slot open there. It's much easier to just pump out mediocre stuff like Bosch, right? <laughs> 30 episodes a season or whatever. Do you know what the most successful TV show of all time is? This will uh, blow your mind. Time felt. The Simpsons? NCIS. Oh. Oh, shit. Right? That is huge. It's the most syndicated show. There's like a billion episodes. It's been going forever. It is garbage. It's garbage of the of the worst kind. It's just pure filler, and it's everywhere. So that's what they care about. That's why. It's nothing to do with, oh, we thought we could make this many good episodes. No. It's just money. God damn it. Always money. God damn it. The other thing I watched this week was, bizarrely, a, a chess puzzle that popped up on... YouTube, right? Tell me. Oh, that's the chess alarm. Go on. Uh, and so it's like, basically, like this guy came up with a chess puzzle about thirty years ago, and it's really fucking hard. Like, so basically, the idea of the puzzle is, you should see if you can. I'll find. See if I can find All right, it. I'm going to see on. if I can find it because I've been playing chess quite a bit lately. As you know, yeah, we were has. talking about it last week as well. But I've been watching YouTube videos on it. I'll see if I can find it. But it's like it's like a kind of complicated chess puzzle there's loads of them out oh there. i can see this it. one was like um so you know white white is supposed to win okay the idea is that white wins and so i was watching this video 
And the guy was like, if you, if you want to pause this video now and solve it yourself, go ahead. Right. Um, it usually takes people about two months to solve, but it's really fun to do. And it's like a really long project. And I was like, two months? And he was like, I'll give you 30 seconds. So he just sort of just stood there looking at the camera for 30 seconds. And then he went, oh, so if you've come back, well done. <laughs> like, who is coming back to this video two months later to like get the solution to this thing? Uh, anyway, he basically, he, he basically explained that unless someone had uploaded the solution to these chess engines, most chess engines can't actually solve this puzzle because it's like 40 or 50 moves you have to right. solve, right? And it involves this incredibly complicated dance around the board, but every move makes sense. So, for example, every single move you will lose if you make the wrong move, you see. So you kind of have to reason out this this process where it's like, okay, I get, out of all of these different moves, this is the only one I can make or else I lose, right? Because this happens and this happens. And so you, it takes ages. It's kind of this incredibly, it's like doing a jigsaw puzzle, you know, that takes you, you know, weeks to do. Right. Because you just have to manually go through each move one by one and go down that like chain of events that causes by that move and realize that one fails and then go down the next chain of events because that's, that's almost like only one way to do it. And so it, apparently it, like a lot of grandmasters struggled with it. But the, one of the bits at the end that blew my mind was at the end, there's this like dance move where you have to move your bishop around like 20 different places on the board. <laughs> so it's like you go here and then they go back and then you go here and then they go there and, and you go around. And at one point, Black has like four knights on the board, right? Because they've been, they've had to like, you know, because they've been able to move their pawns to the end of the board. Right, right. But they ha they can't use a queen to stop you. They have to use a knight to stop your bishop. <laughs> so they've got four knights going around the board. As soon as you, a knight's the way knights move in chess is pretty complicated anyway right for someone because you're like okay they they kind of that l-shaped move is like like weird to to get in your brain especially right. just to see what squares they can cover at a glance if they move you know it's one of the more i think more difficult things that i never really was able to just get in my head right but i was just like enthralled there's no <laughs> way i could solve that puzzle myself ever but i, I was just like amazed by it um, you know, I, I mean, I've noticed Magnus Carlsen <clears throat> started streaming on Twitch, and he's like the most famous uh, chess player in the world at the moment, for sure. And and he's he's generally considered the best. He he, I watched him streaming. I was I was so refreshed by his style of streaming because it was like like I like to think of myself as not being the kind of person who's like, don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, thanks for the bits, so and all that kind of stuff. Like I I generally don't sort of do that so much. He takes that to the next level. He says, oh, apparently I was raided. What whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I love that's, that. Like, that's, that's so nice. It's naive. Yeah. It's very limmy. It's very... It was, um... But it wasn't, it wasn't even knowing. He literally doesn't care. Like, the dude just did not care. It wasn't an act. He just said, apparently I'd been raided. Sigh, whatever. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> oh, you may hear some drilling. Oh God! Yeah, I just heard it. Yeah, I wish somebody was doing that to my ear and mouth right now. <laughs> Does it feel like they are anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Needs like some pressure release or something. I think like it's just sore as fuck, crazy, eh? So what? What's yeah. also interesting is the music that these lads listen to is not what you'd expect. It's a bit like they got a classical music station, but for sort of easy listening jazz. Right. That's their go-to channel. Oh. Like it's not. It's not what you would expect. It sounds, it, it very sounds Twin a bit Peaks. like it sounds it's like it's very something elevator out, music. It sounds it's like something strange. out of Twin Peaks, you know, like yeah. this weird crew of Russians just like all of a sudden turning up in a place where you don't normally see very many Russians listening to elevator music. Hey, there are actually there are actually lots of Russians in uh, in this area. Yeah, I know. Up in Richmond, there's loads of them. I was yeah, just trying to. Why. Just trying to hammer. Trying to set point. the mood. Yeah, yeah sorry. trying to set set the stage. You know, you don't need all your technicalities, Flax. You know, sorry, just sorry, trying sorry. to build yeah. some. Well, it's ambience. normally Radio One that they would. You know, I would expect that to, or right? Kiss. Kiss FM very popular. Yeah. yeah. Um, anything with banging tunes. Yeah. I remember when we were having the work done on the house. We were having the kitchen done. The lads, they got. I don't know where they get it, but all the builders that I've ever had working for extended periods come with a special rugged radio. It's like a radio in a roll cage. It yeah, looks like yeah. a roll cage for like yeah, an off-road vehicle. Yeah, it's really popular for builders to have a, a radio like that. Because they get knocked around, right? They I guess they do. Get knocked but these off things look expensive. And I'm and thinking, stuff. 
a radio, you know, you can get a little shitty radio, no problem. But they've got this, it looks like they, they want to use it as well to like prop up a foundation or something, just in case. This thing is huge. And they would have that on. And there was a channel that, I don't know what channel they listened to, but they, if, it, if, the, if a real banger came on, they'd be like, oh, mate, banger alert, way! And they'd be sort of, <laughs> <laughs> they were so happy. I was like, yeah, I guess if you're doing a job like that, which is kind of monotonous. My wife was putting in. Uh, putting in you know, plasterboard or whatever. My wife was laughing the other day because um, I, we were watching TV or so, so, something came up somehow where um, in, in the 90s, it was very popular in the UK for people to say that something was quality, like quality, oh, right. quality. <laughs> and like, I, I remember that being like fairly popular. So you don't hear it that much anymore these days. I don't, I guess they've just replaced it with something else or whatever. Quality tune. Yeah. yeah I, I still say it sometimes. I, 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 I rarely hear people say it. Like, it's always like cheeky Nando's. Quality, or like, mate. That's a, quality. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Like quality. Like, I, th- I say we bring it back. Let's revive it. I think it would be easy enough. Let's look at a thesaurus, right? Let's get our thesaurus up here. Let's I bring it back. We're going to be able to find out what the next hit words are going to be. All right. right. So let's look at quality. Yeah. Because people always generally like to have a word that's like quality. Yeah. So uh, here we go. Mint is mint. the one. Though. Mint, yeah, mint is a famous that's one. That's been a famous oh, one already. Oh, mate. Oh, wait. No, quality. I need, I need a different value and status. Okay. So uh, these are all synonyms. Superbness. Oh mate, that is preeminence. Preeminence. I, that, that uh, yeah, I could hear. I could see that. I could see preeminence. I could see yeah. Caliber. Oh mate, caliber. I could see that one maybe working. Oh, not, I see. not repute. Repute. You know, yeah, mate, rep- repute. Well, I tell you what, people are saying now. They're saying meta. Oh, that's that's that is a meta. I notice a right? lot of people are throwing around the term simp like crazy these days as well like it's become the new boomer yeah simp is funny though it is pretty funny funny. yeah but uh it's it's amazing how these things sort of catch on and just become so widely i mean this is like this is twitch to be fair but you know what i mean like whereas before you just see people every everyone was a boomer everything was about a boomer or whatever now it's now it's all simps it's just it's just transition now 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 we only only want to call out for people for being simps we don't mind boomers anymore. It's just simps now. Yeah. Constantly. All right. So here, here's another one. Here's another one. Right. You know the way it's quite common in uh, <clears throat> in slang. <clears throat> Sorry, I've had a I've had a cough this morning. Yeah. Is it like uh, is it persistent? <laughs> I haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. Is it is it very very like a no t- no it's persistent just, cough? It's just when when I go I don't get hay fever, but when I go out in the morning, yeah, um, a lot of the pollen any, any fever it makes me sneeze and cough. No, Been sweating a little bit. No, all right, just going through my checklist. Yeah, there. you, you guys have to have that app soon too, don't you? Or you have to what like. I mean, you guys, you live in vaguely the same country as us. I know. I don't think we're going to be getting the app somehow though. No. Anyway, anyway. You know the way sometimes that that if you want to say something is good, you'll use the antonym for that, like bad. That was the one in the eighties, right? Yeah. That, oh it, yeah. Oh, that's bad. So I'm that's thinking, Michael Jackson. If something is really really good, you could say, "Mate, that is normal," rather than <laughs> exceptional. You just say it's. Oh, normal. that's so average. Yeah. Oh. That is dull, <laughs> oh, mate. That is pure dull. Because peak is is one that you hear quite a lot, and it can mean good or bad. Because peak is. Yeah. No peak. 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 Mate, peak. That is peak. That is peak. Oh, it's peak P flex. Yeah. And when they say there's yeah, bare people that. here, it can mean there's a lot of people here, right? So you can say bare uh, people. Yeah, bear. Oh, like centaurs, but with bare parts. No. B A R E, you clown. Naked people. Uh that's f- oh mate, that is facile. That, you could use that one. <laughs> facile. <laughs> oh, you sound like a professor. <laughs> You sound like a, like a, like a, somebody from um, from that show. Like the only way is, is Essex has become a professor and is then <laughs> no no. You, you sound like, like a, you, you sound like a chavy chess player. Oh mate, that move is facile. <laughs> <laughs> that chess puzzle is. Simping. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good word. Lambent. Have you ever heard this word? Lambent. It means radiant and beautiful. Mate, that is pure lambent. Beautiful. Lambent. lambent. What about what about a new term for like owned? Because that's been around way too long, right? All right. So, Owning somebody uh, to... on the net or whatever. We need a new yeah. term for that. We... Let's let's look for victory. Uh, so we've got uh, sweep. Sweep. Uh, what about uh, owned? What about enslaved? Oh wow! All right, let's help. Wow. You is enslaved. To you enslaved. enslaved him, mate. 
That would be I don't terrible. know. It's uh, too... Synonyms for enslaved. Mate, you've been disenfranchised. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. That's I, I'm pretty sure that that's been used before, disenfranchised. Like, I'm sure I heard that like in a Madden game or like a, like a hockey game or something. Yoke. You know, like... Mate, you get yoked, which means yoked. you've been enslaved. Get yoked. Oh. Get Get immured. <laughs> to oh. immure mate you are pure indentured now indentured. <laughs> <laughs> that works oh that works, that works. yeah yeah indentured. Oh. that is a good one yeah yeah that's, that's nice. that actually works pretty well do you reckon like that. <laughs> the guys that the guys and gals that come up with this stuff i reckon they're just on a on a fucking thesaurus website yeah, to I don't know someone. how. I don't know how like stuff catches on though. It's weird. I reckon isn't it? you're right. Right, it's like it's like rappers and songwriters who are looking for rhymes and they find something and they're like, you know, we're going on a, a financial adventure. You're gonna be indentured. Do you right. know what I mean? There you go. <laughs> they like they 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 look. They make these things and then they go into the like public. Um, like l vocabulary from there you know you take him to one ghost face show and now all of a sudden he's just like fucking <laughs> rapping ronnie reagan here with his big words i'm an expert yeah i understand how it works they're influential we could have gone to see the jizza but you know remember i sent you an email saying let's go see the jizza who is playing at the same venue as ghost face you have to be careful when you book him up as well because you can this is there's some other there's the gentleman's club uh next door yeah that you could yeah. accidentally no but uh good thing i didn't book I was being really lazy getting around to it, but the lockdown started a week before that show would have started. So that would have been, we, we would have been yeah. fucked. We wouldn't have been able well, to I, go. I, yeah. I was supposed to be on holiday. We would have lost week. all our money on the Jizza, <laughs> which is weird. Yeah. I, 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 I can't imagine being on holiday right now, going to restaurants and kind of, I don't know, being in a, being in a hotel, I guess. Yeah. I think things are relaxing a little bit now. Stuff is opening again. Like over here, restaurants, if you eat outside or open cafes, like, for, like, to eat outside you could take away stuff yeah, yeah. you could it's take like, away and sit in the park and my stuff. wife went to a lot town of with, uh, with my kids yesterday and they went to like a toy store that was open and stuff like there's okay things are sort of wow. gradually sort of um becoming somewhat normal were they a again. bit deprived of toys your kids no, not like, really. it's, just, it's, it's the outing isn't it right they've been just cooped up for like two months and i think it's just nice for them that you know they just want to kids are very sort of like you can't, they, you can't sit them in front of, the, of a screen and show them stuff like they, they find it interesting enough but they want to touch stuff they want to look at things like you know what i mean it's just it's a it's a bit of an outing for them right so it's yeah, like yeah. i think it was yeah. nice for them to 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 be able to actually go to a store and just have a look around and they got some cakes in town and stuff like that so it's was, it was nice like we're still locked down like i still can't they still can't see like their grandparents still can't like really do a lot of things but mm. at least some things are going back to normal it's been it's been all right yeah it's weird yeah. i don't know yeah i don't know it's, it's just a weird time isn't it we yeah. never so it's turned out so differently to how we thought it would as well i think yeah. you know but relatively well serious but also no, there's no panic people aren't looting and going crazy are they everyone no i think we're all just, fed up especially with everyone's just bored i, I, I don't want to get political because this is not a political podcast at all but I don't care what side you're on. If you look at what Dominic Cummings did, it's infuriating because we've all, I think, I've generally not noticed that many people fucking around and not following the rules. And yeah. when we are told not to break the rules and we don't break the rules because we're being civically minded, I, I think that's laudable. I don't think it's something to say, oh, what well, are you just giving up your freedom now to try not and spread a virus? Oh, what's wrong with you? Well, Dominic Cummings didn't give a shit, did he? And he makes the whole thing look like a fucking joke. So that's what pisses me off. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot, a lot of people share that sentiment. I think yeah, that's of why course. That's what I'm saying. It's not political. News. And the fact that Emily Mattis, or Matlis, whatever her name is, she started this news show on the BBC saying, uh, like, here was a rundown of how pissed off everybody was and what happened. And they're saying, oh, this broke impartiality rules. I don't believe it did. I think that was the national sentiment. And I think the BBC, as the national broadcaster, should reflect that. 
I don't think you'll find many counterpoints. Michael Gove, who they wheeled out of his fucking shed somewhere to argue that it was all right, did the worst job ever. He basically ummed and ahed and said, uh, yeah, I drive sometimes to check my eyesight. He's like, fuck off. We all know you're lying at this bullshit. That's a joke you of a response. You drive to check your eyesight. That's what they claimed. <laughs> what he said, why, they said, why did you drive? He said, oh, I had to make sure my eyesight was safe to drive. By driving. By driving. That's ridiculous. Well, like, Does he did, also I mean, check whether the hob is hot by thrusting his hand on it? Go, oh, yeah, I'm burning now. That is hot. No. <laughs> I mean, in fairness to him, if you are going to risk your and other people's lives by testing your eyesight while driving the best time to do it is when everybody else is locked down and the roads are free <laughs> right so then you just, just kill think... your fucking self and not anyone else by being an idiot when i went to get my glasses you know they were like oh yeah uh, what you're gonna do is have you got have you got your car with you <laughs> right we're just gonna <laughs> just drive around for a bit See yeah. how it is, yeah. and then let us know. If you hit anything, and then we'll get you sorted. Yeah, well, then you probably yeah. do need. Most space. people would just sort of look out a window and say, "Hey, can you see that bird that, over that's there?" That's far away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, you can yeah, even can get get, uh, get your partner or someone to hold a piece of paper up at a distance, and you could try reading it. You fucking yeah. clown. Oh, I'm so furious. <laughs> in other news, oh, uh, one of the things I've been doing in the afternoon after I finished streaming, Mrs. F is working. She's in. She's in the. She, she set up a little office in our in our room. And uh, I'll lie on the bed, and and if she's not busy, I'll chat to her and keep her keep her company. Okay. One of the things I like to do is put uh, shit telly on. Right. And so I like the idea the that you're telly. like a teenage girl, right, <laughs> lying on your bed Doesn't with have your to be arms a girl. like as, up as usual. Your neck. Yeah. Go on. I put my gym jams like, on, like staring at your wife, and like maybe maybe on your phone, maybe writing notes in your diary, spy notes, <laughs> just just spying on her. That's what you're doing, people. You know, th you are such a strange person, Lewis, that even very <laughs> simple social interactions to you either have some sinister or, for some reason, gender reversed. You always do this. Like when we did the we did we went down and did the bunker challenge thing. You said that you were like my daughter. Why do you always <laughs> flip it? <laughs> you always flip it in your mind. I feel like you treat me that way sometimes. No. It's funny. Because uh, in real life, you know, you see how young and, and stupid and naive I am. And so you think, think you must be a woman. See, it just comes talk, pouring no, out of your mouth. you talk down to me like I'm six. Well, if you didn't talk shit, we wouldn't have to. I would just it's say. It's true. It's fine. I don't mind. I know. I just like the idea of you... Lying on your bed, staring like <laughs> like 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 wet eyed I at do. your wife and while she's, she's like <laughs> un, like she's like hanging the washing up, and she's like, "Are you gonna help?" I don't and know. Occasionally, like, no. I don't know why this is flax, but when you describe certain things that you're doing, I always imagine you know like uh, you know like that the funny detailed close up art they used to use in Ren and Stimpy, you know like. Yeah. Uh, with you know people like with their <laughs> yeah. eyes wide open, but you can see yeah. all the fucking lines all the veins, and the veins yeah. in their eyes and shit. I had one of those moments when you described that. I could just see you like with this like really exaggerated face laying on your bed, like <laughs> talking to your wife, but like with one of those <laughs> Ren and Stimpy fucking close up pictures. And I'd be talking the way Ren did. Hey, yeah. hey, Ren, you know, he has that funny <laughs> yeah, little. Yeah, yeah. So I don't let's know go why. to it's the just, park today. It, I don't get that with a lot of people, but like very occasionally when you describe something I, I don't know i think you kind of remind me you look like one of the characters from ren and stimpy i think he was like <laughs> a hunter guy or something but like especially when you do like your your sort of gruff like american dad sort oh, of voice. um that's he was the drill instructor guy that's right yeah, yeah yeah i don't know why you remind me of him sometimes i, I love that whole, character so much. the whole ren and stimpy <laughs> thing just like oh, comes man. flooding back every once in a while i love that great. show so much when i was yeah a kid. it's really good yeah I was watching. I was I was watching it uh, a little bit on stream, like a couple of months ago. I didn't have anything like to play or whatever, and I was just watching old eighties and and nineties stuff. I was watching some Beavis and Butthead, which was really fun. Oh yeah, I remember you saying and about um, the Beavis and, and Ren and Stimpy. I was watching like the the first two seasons. I think of Ren and Stimpy are amazing. Like before before it got like Nickelodeonized or whatever. Yeah, it 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 really did take a big downswing. Lewis, um. I just wanted to say, I, I, you know, I do respect you greatly as a person. No, no of and, course, of course. And it's I'm fine. only joking. Like, I, no, I, no, no, no. I won't even bother. I just, I, sometimes it's like the same as Sips. Like, I just get this. Sometimes you say something and it's totally innocent. 
you know. But it just sounds weird. Do I have so that go on, you're manner? Li- you're lying on your bed, staring at your wife while she's doing housework. No, no, she's, she, no she's, she's not working. doing housework. She's, she has a job, Lewis. You're such, like, the sexism is so ingrained she's like, she's in you. Like a, it just comes... A coal miner, a modern-day coal miner. She's, she's got the coal face in... in she's got the coal I was going to say, she's at the coal face in my bedroom day and night. In the like, bedroom I mean on is, a laptop slipping away. How is that going to help? How are you helping your wife work she's if you're like, staring mate. at her? She's in Indentured, mate. She's pure indentured. The, the, here's oh. the thing: she has a real job, right? Not like not like me, and not like Sips, and dare I say it, not like you. She has a job where she has like an employer that she's, you know, she has to do this, and they're always calling her a boss. Exactly. You know, it's a tedious job sometimes. She's got to wait for some data process, or she's doing something mind numbing, and she's just in there on her own. And so, so I go in there in the afternoon, and we'll hang out and we'll chat and stuff. And I put the, normally put the telly on. She loves location, location, location. For example, great show. I love Kirsty Olsop on that, so I'm happy to watch. And we're sort of chilling out. And because it's daytime, you're meant to be an old person if you're watching telly during the daytime. So the ads are always very specific. Shoes, chairs, mattresses. Oh, uh, does your ear hurt? Have you been cleaning out your shed and is your ear giving you jip? Well, try (laughs) new eardrops. Oh, they're indentured, mate. They'll really sort you out. Hey, on, on the topic of eardrops, though, I put some olive oil in my ear the other day. Um, my wife was like, you know, olive oil is really good for your ear. I was like, I'm not putting olive oil in yeah, my so maybe ear. They put, you put it in kids' ears when they get an ear infection. Uh, and it. she's like, no, trust me, it's really good. And I was like, all right. So she put a fucking ton of olive oil in my ear, and I thought, <laughs> I'll wait for it. It's gonna, get, it's gonna get like all fucking sticky in there. Put a bit of vinegar in it's there, a bit of like salt, a, pepper, you know, yeah, more, some, more some spiders salad. than usual are gonna go move in there and stuff. But the no, Italian it's fine, spiders, actually. hey, olive oil, ear, <laughs> delicious. It's actually really good. I highly recommend it. Just, just some fucking olive oil. It does, yeah, it does. It does wonders. Yeah. Here, here are the adverts. Tell you, tell me whether you would want to buy this. Okay. All right. This is a pair of shoes. You can buy them as a pair. Me and Mrs. F, of course, said we have to get matching pairs of of shoes. They've got a special curved sole. They're huge. If you do, you remember that old meme video? What are those? Like that? Do you remember that video? Yeah. The police officer in that had these massive clumping shoes. They're literally. They look like that. And in the advert, they always have middle-aged or younger people walking around wearing them saying, hey, hey, you can feel like me if you wear these shoes. But they're obviously for old people whose whose feet are so fucked up at the, in their 70s that they have to have massive comfort shoes. And now, let's say they, after they've been for a walk, now they want to sit down. Well, you can't just sit on any old chair. You need the egg seat, which is a seat that is like this rubber cushion that you put on a seat. And you could put an egg on there and sit on the egg and the egg won't crack according to the advert. And they have these ladies sitting on the egg and going, oh my God, the egg didn't break. That was the other one. Now, end of the day comes around. You've been walking, you've been sitting. Better get a special mattress. And they've got these, it's literally a run of adverts. Every ad break the same. Shoes, mattress, cushion. And then they'll have an ad for Caniston uh, for people who've got thrush. Then they'll have something to do with hearing aids. I just thought old people get bombarded with advertising more than young people do. My vagina It's so targeted. I was appalled. It well, it's because old people can't get away from it, I guess. They just don't know how... I don't feel like they, advertising... They, they don't know how to watch watch TV anywhere else, right? <laughs> they don't have Netflix, do they? I don't feel like advertising works on me. I never see something and think, oh, that looks good. I'm going to go get that or whatever. Certainly like not it. television advertising. If no, there's a movie God, trailer, no. I'll be like, oh, cool, that's out. Sure. But yeah, when was the last time you saw an advert for something and I literally thought... For products, oh, never. That. I'm never yeah, swayed just, by ads happen. to buy products. Like I, I ba- barely buy any products, really. Like, uh, like if I have to buy something, usually I'll just like you know if I have to buy like medicine or some shit like that, I'll usually just sort of seek out something that I'm somewhat familiar with, like something that maybe my mum used to buy or that we we've had in the house before or something like that. You know what I mean? Right. But I would never just like watch an ad and be like. Oh, Calgon. God, that, yeah, that, that sounds would, great. Washing yeah. machines live longer with this stuff. <laughs> oh, wow! You know what I mean? Like I would yeah. never. Um, I think I think advertising for me just uh, makes me more familiar with stuff. Like sometimes I'll see like Calgon in the store and be like, "Oh, look, it's Calgon." But like, I, 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 I still I think would never buy it. Like, but I think that's generally their intention like it, yeah. it's not it's very hard to tell people buy this yeah yeah it's I mainly guess they just, just about want... raising the profile and just saying hey here's our name we're putting it out there and we're telling you what we do yeah and then when you go to the supermarket you go we need something to clean the dishwasher oh this calgon stuff and you, you don't even connect the fact oh just like in the advert it's just that you know what it is and what it does yeah and i guess that's I, half the battle i'm thinking it? about it i think the only time i would ever really even consider getting something like that 
is if I, I if I was in like a foreign country and I needed something like Calgon, yes, and they just had a whole bunch of like brands that I didn't recognize, but then I saw Calgon, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'll just get some Calgon like this one time or whatever. Yes. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe so. Maybe I am being duped. I just don't realize it. God damn. God damn it. Like they got me, guys. They got, they got me. Now we're just talking about Calgon. We should get some money out of the Calgon guys. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Oh, that would be ideal. <laughs> just segue into a Cal- Calgon ad. What else have you guys done this week? I made uh, made some adjustments to my my murder factory in Fallout. Okay, it's been pretty fun. I played Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Oh, did you like it? I actually did. I played it yeah. for like six hours straight. Yeah, um, it's fucking nice. Eh? It's really fun. Yeah. The only problem I is I found like I felt like eventually it, 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 it did get quite repetitive and the oh, car yeah. didn't have enough bits that were interesting enough to fix. Like a lot of the time you literally just look for the rusty bit, yeah. <clears throat> take it off. There wasn't really much analysis and sort of like, what's no. the problem here? It wasn't like puzzly enough. It was more just time passing. If you want uh, if you want something a bit more in depth, I recommend uh, My Summer Car. It was a great game. Holy fuck, it's okay. so good. Because I, I, I played Landlord Super. Um, I played that, which was, it was fun. I haven't uh, gotten around very to Very much, yet. very evocative of 80s shit Britain. It's quite simple at the moment, but it was fun. Building the house, it is it is a challenging game. Like it is yeah. is going to test your patience at times, but it was fun. Good. Um, I, I washed a lot of dishes. You wash dishes, you get four quid an hour for washing dishes. No way. Yeah, but it, yeah. That's so good. and then you can you have to buy bricks and tools, and I, sure. I fucked up my foundations so that the concrete I poured was like the weakest concrete possible. Oh no! I don't know, I don't know how to mix concrete, unfortunately. So yeah, that was a problem. Um, and I've been playing a lot of Dota. The new Battle Pass came out. For Dota, um, there's no TI this year. It's been canned because of the Oh, the whole thing's been canned. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, but the Battle Pass still came out. Right. Um, and it's really good. It's a really good Battle Pass. So I've been playing a lot of Dota because of that. To make up for the fact that there's no TI, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're yeah. going to do another Battle Pass next year for the other TI. So this will be like the prize pool will be fucking massive. It'll be two TIs worth of prize pools yeah. um, in one. So I assume that the following year will be the first year that the prize pool is actually lower than it was the year before. So that's going to be newsworthy, but with an asterisk, obviously. You see that they're redoing uh, Artifact. They're trying again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. I don't know if I'm... I think I'm kind of done with card games. I don't know. I'm just sort of like... I, I, I'm not feeling them, you know? I'm just yeah. not... It's just meh. Feel like I got a, chess now, buddy. I got chess. Oh yeah, you've been playing chess. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I don't know. Like I've just been playing Fallout, which I've enjoyed, but I, I've gone down the sort of rabbit. I've been playing like uh, Fallout seventy six, like casually on the side, which has been pretty fun. Right. Um, and but I've been reading about a lot of like vaults and like the older games, and so I've just been down this like this on this like fallout trip which has been really nice actually i really love the the fallout world so nice to be like uh fully engrossed in it once again yeah um lewis don't you have a stream now well there you go that was that was truffles for today <laughs> <laughs> thank you everybody jesus yeah, have Christ. a great week stay safe yeah. stay alert stay alert stay, stay safe. safe look after yourselves yeah we care about you guys yeah um thanks for all the support and yeah cheers everyone have a good one bye, bye. goodbye bye.